So now we're going right in. Okay, both characters start jumping. Raytsby's gonna hit you with that extended range that Alien has with his uh, Tarkatan Blade. Okay, Rekka's all the way past mid-screen. Okay, HP decides to keep him restanding. I'm really surprised he's not playing demo uh, in tournament to at least try it out, but he's not really trying to make it a main character. He's just kind of playing it casual to figure out what people do against it. But anyway, HP does take that first round very convincingly. Round two, fight. Okay, good blocks from Blitz. No real punish. Can't punish that, it's negative seven. Okay, decides to phase, but he's gonna get poked out. Oh, he tries to uppercut, but... HP saw it coming, armor through. HP's looking like he's real close to taking this. H the Blitz gets hit by the mid, phases out of the corner. HP's gonna block that. Okay, phases into the corner. Okay, yeah, there's really nothing he could've done in that situation. Uh, this is seems like a pretty hard matchup for Smoke. Um, you know, his phase through is really, you know, it is what it is. I don't think it's a really good tool to use to get out of pressure. So, it looks like he is switching. He's going to switch to Tempest Kung Lao. Uh, a character I have not seen him play in a long time. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, so we're going into... Ooh, let me update the score. Okay. Alright, here we go. Game two. Okay, again, Blitz starts the game with a uh, jump back. I'm trying to create some space. He doesn't want to ha have anything to do with the Rekkas, but... You're gonna have to get in. If you're playing Smoke or Kung Lao, you're gonna have to get in on your opponent to do anything. Okay, just blocking. Good blocks. Jumps out of the corner. But again, he's under this wreck of pressure. Ooh, he found a gap. So there was a patch uh, recently that kind of nerfed Tarkatan. I wouldn't call it a nerf, more of a normalization where his Rekkas now, they can no longer be gapless and safe. So either the Rekkas are going to be safe on block with a gap, or you can make it so there's no gaps, but it's going to be punishable however you decide to end the Rekka. But if you end with low overhead, then it becomes a guessing game. Oh, he gets caught out of the teleport during the startup frames. HP takes the first round of game two. Round two, fight. Okay. I don't know if he can punish. Well, he guess he can. Kung Lao's probably one of the only characters that can punish the um, overhead flip, regular overhead flip. Good, <laughs> good trolley spin. But if you're just gonna press buttons in neutral, well, HP's gonna wake up on you. Okay, is that a down four overhead flip? Oh, overhead flip anti-air. Please! The alien god is with us in Austin. Okay, no punish. That was your time. He could have did X spin, but he missed it. And that was the end of the Rekka. Looks like ATP maybe... Just a punish on the end of the Rekka. Alright, looks like the HP's up a quick 2-0. We have a good turnout today. I think we have uh, about 11 competitors. We have uh, one new competitor. who's uh, He's been playing with us in casuals, but he's just joined his tournament for the first time. Struggle's real. Anyway, Blitz the Wolf. We're six seconds in. He's already he's back in the corner. But entire um, on that overhead flip and good patience for the conversion. Okay, tries to go in, but Blitz does wake up, and the names are actually switched, what? Or are they? I'm confusing myself. There we go. ATP is alien. Okay. I don't think Blitz has won a single round in the set so far. I don't see a lot of rust from him, though, uh, for Kung Lao. Like I said, I haven't seen him play Kung Lao in a long time. Even though he <laughs> drops right there. You gotta be selective on your grabs, because you know ATP is gonna take that. So if you're gonna grab him, 
You gotta do it at a random time. And you probably gotta grab him in a, the most disadvantage, most disadvantageous, or however you say that, uh, direction. Oh, what was that string? Okay, Blitz is getting something here. He's got a lot of bar to work with on the knockdown. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hat? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, he blocked it. Okay, a break from Blitz. Eh, I respect that. No stamina. Oh, okay. HP tried to low profile, but Blitz went for the overhead. Okay, grab from Blitz is pretty close to taking this round. Oh, and the uppercut! <laughs> right, TP! Raw uppercut! Oh my god, 14%, why? Good games. Alright, here we go. The real shit is starting. And ATP immediately burning meter to get the combo started with the Rekkas. Using that tail to get to get in nice and close. Strife using the fireballs, though, to get him away. Alien is just jumping right in there, though. And destroying Shinnok Shins. And he's stopping those Rekkas. <laughs> midway through and starting the 50-50s. I can hear ATP over there saying you just need to learn the matchup a little better. The words of a man using a shit character. And by shit I mean totally awesome. It is a very difficult character to deal with. Well, Strife starting his zoning game. Throws one too many fireballs and gets armored out. And the corner game, not good. That's exactly where Alien wants you. Really, uh, the corner is just important in Mortal Kombat X, period. But Alien is especially frightening in the corner. So ATP is up one. We're going best three out of five here. Ooh! We have a beautiful anti-air from Strive immediately with that Shinnok down too. Infamously, well, not overpowered, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty awesome down too. We are in the right corner again. He got Stripe got pushed in there very quickly. I have no clear where to record that. Three, two, oh shit. Yeah, you're gonna have to tell this smell when he gets back. <clears throat> huh. And back to the match. Was, uh, it looked like Strife may have started to make some headway, but he got stuffed by that armor pretty quickly. Luckily, that armor did end, and it didn't lead to a big combo, but just the same, he is putting Strife back in the corner, and he has those Rekkas going. That combo that he keeps reusing, the 4-1-3-4, I believe, uh, it puts enormous pressure on on his opponents. He really does. And the brutal. So we're gonna go for character select. Now Strife, he likes. He actually likes Goro. Shinnok and Goro are two people he play with, but uh, let's see who else he has in the box. We have Shinnok, that's right, he does play Shinnok, 
and uh, we'll see if he's going to burn any meter to keep that 50-50 going. Ah! You know, I was going to comment on <laughs> that it's surprising that he uses this variation of Quan Chi, but I see it so little, I forget what the goddamn name is. So we'll just have to see what it is when it comes up. It is Warlock, that's right, my brain went out on me there for a little bit. And two neutral jump punches, very trolly. And Quan Chi, he, he does beat Alien in the neutral jump punch game. Oh, the combo is dropped. And Quan Chi is dropped. Hey, that's how it goes. Drop a combo, get dropped, man. Is he on his way? That's nice. Yeah, this is a pretty small place. Hard to miss. It's hard to miss somebody walking through the door anyway. Alright, and we have the... We're finishing with the queen fatality. Alright. So there we go. ATP with a very commanding, convincing, undeniable win against Strife there. Strife, uh, not very familiar with the alien matchup, but uh, the more he gets beat by it... Uh, you know, the more you learn. Alright, this time looks like Rage is blocking. Okay. Uses the bar. It's gonna extend this for some damage. Not as much damage as it used to get, though, sadly. Um, there was, like I was talking about, a recent nerf to Cyber Sub-Zero. I honestly don't know why they did that. You know, I understand, you know, balance nerfs and all that, but I think that was a little too much. Shout out to NRS. Okay. He couldn't meter burn that, he didn't have bar. But now Strike did just build a bar. But I think he should probably save it for the next round. We'll see what happens. Alright. Can't block that. That mix up. He still has the mix ups. That's all you need in this game. Looks like uh, Rage has one orb out. Ice ball. Okay, Strike decides to jump. Okay, trading pokes here. Uses the entire string, so there's a gap. I don't know if Strife knows about it. I know they've played casuals before. I don't know if Strife actually knows about that gap. Whoa! Full screen out of nowhere! Enhanced Ice Beam! Corner position and 27% and a knockdown and a meaty low. Strife decides to trade with the uppercut. Good idea. That's gonna be a good trade for Shinnok. Unfortunately, Strife drops the combo. Has a good life lead now. Ooh! Or, uh, not Triborg, but Rage not blocking on Wake Up. Oh, again! Full screen ice beam! Ugh, this is like Vibu stuff from a few weeks ago, please. Oh my god! I guess it paid off, huh? Rage is up 1 0. Our sets are first 3 out of 5. We try and, uh, we try and stick to uh, tournament standard rules here. We all have tournament standard monitors, 1MS. Shout out to Asus. Okay, drops the combo. Hey, Rage is just going in. Hey, again, using the entire string. He's trying to play, uh, play some of his, his usual footsie game, but the Hell Sparks, he's got to respect the Hell Sparks more often. Okay, he gets hit by the knee. That's a good knee, that's a good move. Okay, he's gonna switch sides. No, he decides to send a full screen. Oh, but you know that's gonna happen! I'm gonna switch sides. Ends with the, um, the scoop, the mop. Okay. Good slide. Oh, you gotta respect the health sparks. Oh! The slide couldn't make it. It looked like uh, Strife might enhance that uh, ground pound. I don't know if the ground pound has faster startup frames, but he definitely, um, Rage got hit out the slide. 
Okay. In your face! In your face, Mop. Another one. Strife has corner position, blocks the slide, but no punish. He gets nothing for blocking that. He's got to capitalize on all of that. Another full screen ice beam. Hey, you know what? If it keeps working, just do it. Why not? And it's been working. Oh, that NJP. It's so good. You gotta watch out. You gotta notice who's gonna do that and go for Husparks. Okay, again, using the full string. Whoa, why would you do that? I don't know if Stripe is getting some input errors. I know earlier he was saying that he's too good for the controller. The controller does not understand his inputs because they are so fast. Too good. Final round fight. Ah. Uh, wow. So by now he's gotta he's gotta make the adjustment. If Strive can't make the adjustment to these mid-screen, full screen, enhanced ice beams, then it's over. He does get hit by the ice ball. Interesting trade. Ooh. So right now it looks like Strife needs to figure this out. He still gets hit by the ice ball! That was a good jump, but you gotta understand the character you're playing against. And Rage is about to go up. He does 2 0. Okay. Alright, Strife. This is tournament life now. This is losers round one. Oh, excellent. Let's see. If he can get the full combo. And what is he gonna do? How's he gonna end it? Okay, ends it full screen again. Okay, Rage sees that coming. Oh my god. So he saw the X Ice Ball coming, but fortunately, Rage switched it up. So now it comes down to the kind of neutral that you can play, and the reads. Oh my god. All these ice bombs, look at that! That wasn't even a mix-up, that's just pressure. Ice bomb, dive kick, pressure. Okay, there you go. That's when you have to do health sparks. Don't do down one, do health sparks. All I need to do. As the Zengi would say, Katy Perry fireworks. Alright, Strife takes the round. Strife can still do this. He still got this. Okay, good punish. Even if you can get something, just get it. Punished by Rage. And now Rage is working on corner carry. He does get it. 24% knockdown. What's he gonna do? NJP whiffs. And Strive takes full advantage. Drops the combo. Good NJ kick. Okay, some respect here. But Strife lets Rage out of the corner. Oh, that trade. That might be a good trade because it, it separates the characters a little bit. So Shinnok is going to be more comfortable a little farther away in order to get his stuff started. Strife's looking really good. He can take this. Okay, he gets... Oh, he gets hit by the overhead. I don't even know if that was a meaty. That might have been delayed a little bit. Rage can definitely take this. Oh, but the ice ball misses. Ice bomb, excuse me. Whoa! Good wake up. Good wake up, Hellsparks. That is faster than usual, Hellsparks. 2 1. 2 1, Rage. We're not done yet, though. Okay, I like that starter. I think that's a legit starter for uh, Strife. Oh, he blocks it this time. Good stuff. Yeah, just wait for Rage to do something. You know, that's all you have to do. Okay. Ooh, full screen dive kick, good stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little congested, just uh, coming off an illness from a couple days ago, so bear with me. Anyway, Strife's looking really sharp this round. Looks like he's figured everything out. He's being a little more patient, blocking more stuff that is, again, going to be a punish for the Hell Sparks. Good stuff to Rage, recognizing how to punish the Hell Sparks with his character. This is Rage's main, of course. Wow. Yeah, Hell Sparks wouldn't even hit him from that range, so that was a questionable decision. Especially knowing uh, that Rage throw is throwing that out a lot. Okay, Strife, let's go a block. Now we got mix-ups. Okay, good jump out. Oh, that uppercut. Punish. Good wake up. I agree. Excellent. Gets hit by the unblockable. No, Hellsparks is not going to hit him from that far. Be patient. He's not being as patient as he was the last couple rounds. Oh, he blocks the overhead. In the face again, the mop. Good. Another punish. Just gotta be careful with Hellsparks now, because Rage is punishing that consistently. And you don't want to get knocked down against Cyber Sub. Because then you have to guess on Wake Up. You have to guess on his meaty. 
Okay. Push the full string, and that's gonna be a punish. He's gotta figure out something else to do here. Hellspark's not working for him as much as it usually does. Okay, meter burns. That was not a punish. He just let go of block. Yeah, you can meter burn it, and maybe it'll make him a little safer. Okay, he was blocking, but again, let go a little early. Okay. No, oh, see, Rage has done that before. He's done that at least once before, maybe twice. Stripe has to pick up on this. The Ice Bomb's gonna hit him. Not a good wake up. Maybe Shoulder Charge would be better. It gets him out of the corner. Oh, what? What? He wasn't ready for his wake up to end. and He did not wake up blocking, and it looks like... Yeah, Rage takes it. Good stuff to Rage. First time coming out to our tournaments. He got it. Will we get a Fatal? Let's see who we can get next. But uh, the very last hit of the match, he did a punishable EX uh, <laughs> teleport punch, which won me the match. But let's go ahead and get down to business here. ATP is doing his alien thing. It looks like he's switched to acidic. Round two. Play the fight. I never have either. I'm very surprised that we've got um Ryujin's actually not going for his usual Takeda. Uh it may be to throw ATP off. We'll see if it's a good decision because Reptile uh Reptile is a solid character, but he takes a lot of a lot of, lot of, a lot of button inputs. You got to spend a lot of meter in order to get your damage, but he still has uh, an overhead starter, a few good low starters. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a not a bad character. Oh, and Ryujin closes out that round. Wow, that was impressive. Just class uh, fastest button. Now? Uh, Reptile has the fastest armor in the game, I'm being told. How'd you find that out? Ah, uh, okay. Did she lose her flip kick armor? I'm still getting familiar with uh, all the changes they had. Lost flip kick armor, that is such good news. <laughs> I really did hate her so much. The Reptile is really putting the hurt on Alien. I am. This is excellent. Excellent play from Eugen. Much better than what I expected. Reptile just uh, has extremely good zoning. And his up close game is very solid. He may take this first game off ATP if he can't make a comeback, but Eugen takes it. And we're going to go to player select. Is this for composure or are we picking Tar Cotton? What are we doing here? Ah, there we are. Great match between the two. I'd, I'd say I'm very surprised, and that was very punishable. But Eugen lost his chance. ATP trying to get that mix-up game started. Now let's see what he does. He's gonna go in there and start the Rekka game, but Ryujin knows what to do with the Rekkas. Alien also has a very good jump too. He will stick that uh, Tarkatan lead out for the extra range. Eight, eight, very, Jujin's very successful with that back two. That back two getting that little bit of damage started. Oh, that would have been a full combo, but now ATP has his 50-50 game going. Will he wake up? What will he do? 
ATP is not giving up this corner. And we'll chip for the win. That might not have been chip. I actually thought I saw him blocking low. That overhead is uh, very tricky in that corner. No punish on the whiffed Rekka there. Angel going for the poke and a throw. Not a bad choice. Ooh. And we have a nice little exchange there. A little predictive gameplay going on. Ah, oh, and the armor. Armor gets blocked. And we are in the right side corner again. Now, whether Ryujin's going to be able to get out of this, of course, will determine the rest. But if he gets out, he does have a chance. Reptile, this is where Reptile struggles. In the clutch, Reptile absolutely struggles uh, because he does not have the crazy damage that normal people like Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Kotokan, all those people have. Uh, but now he's got the invis. No, it's not going to work, though. He only has so many mix-ups and things he can do. He can definitely be poked out. But invisibility does help. We'll see where he's going. Alright. This looks like... That was for composure. Ryujin is going to stick with Deceptive. And let me go ahead and update this real quick. It's 1-1. 1-1, one, one. <laughs> one, one, a nice, solid, even matchup so far. Both players have made their adjustments. And we'll see if they can adjust again. mix-up, the overhead still hits, and the uh, crazy thing about Alien, if you do block correctly, he is going to be safe unless he enhances that overhead ball. The um, unsafe option would be the scoop, the low scoop, down back three, but you really have to be ready for that, and uh, usually it is used at a distance. The uh, overhead attack, the, the Riptor clone attack, uh, is not punishable. It's pokeable for some characters, but uh, not punishable. Alright, this is a pretty commanding lead for ATP here. Ooh, very commanding. So we're on match point for ATP here. And surprisingly enough, Ryujin did not change. He will have to stick it out. Um, ask Ray. Ray knows Molina stuff. <laughs> I'm being uh, strangled here by my <laughs> last opponent, Brightor. We have a good match now. Eugen is out of the corner fighting to stay in this. He will be on match point, but... Uh, ooh, and the grab has been teched. But to no avail. Round two, fight. He got in there and got that grab anyway. On that fast slide, that incredibly fast slide, the overhead string didn't work here, but we're in Rekka territory. <clears throat> ATP is building meter as he is staying safe. Ryujin doing a lot of blocking. ATP's aggression. Uh, it's, you know, you really have to worry about the 50-50 mix-up, but you cannot forget to be aggressive. And what we're seeing a lot less of is um, Ryujin pretty much stopped using his, his overhead armor. Good luck to him. Going in, game one. You are not a singular being. I house the consciousness of three Lin Kuei. 
It will not round one. Fight. So Blitz is still sticking with smoke. Um, he he can he does have the option to switch to Kung Lao as we saw earlier, or um, also Quan Chi. I probably doesn't play Quan Chi though since the uh, heavy heavy nerfs that he got in the past month. But we'll see. Anyway, looks like uh, Bright Tour early break. Okay, that's something I try and tell people not to do. But if you believe in yourself, go ahead and do it. Uh, looks like uh, okay. anyway, Bright Tour gets the hit. Soul Ball. And Vortex, there you go, there's the low. But he drops it. And now, or not Smoke, but Blitz the Wolf has corner position, and I do need to update their names. There we go. Right is playing Ermac, excuse me. And both these characters, Vortex characters, you have to guess. Uh, Ermac probably has a little better neutral, um, but Smoke, I think, probably has better pressure, better options uh, on his Vortex. <clears throat> it's honestly more than a 50-50 for Smoke. Ermac, not so much. Sorry about that. I was having a little discussion with ATP. So, I'm going to assume this is still game one. <laughs> I was definitely looking away. Blitz the Wolf did take the first round, though. And it looks like he's about to take this round, too. And yeah, Bright Tour's like, screw this. I'm going to go back to Sector. Go back to my main. My main, please. He still plays, uh, he can play Trimmer. Trimmer was his old main before um, Sector came out. So, <laughs> he did make that switch. So, Triborg is represented very heavily this week. We have Smoke with Blitz the Wolf, Cyber Sub Zero with Rage, and Bright Tour, of course, plays Sector. No Cyrax, though. Our only guy in Austin who plays Cyrax is Hinzar, but I don't think he's played him, uh. Yeah, he hasn't played him very much lately. So, let's see. Okay. A good starting option for Bright Tour there, but Blitz the Wolf is wise to it and starts in JP, gets the hit. Drops the Vortex, though. And now, Bright Tor gets the hits, and he's gonna get a good 31. Looks like he dropped it a little bit, though. Could've got a good night. Could've got a nice restand. Okay, overhead. Okay. Let's get hit on wake up here. Okay, blocks that. That's not a, that's not punishable. So at least he didn't go for anything. But Bright Tor was still patient enough. Oh, Phase Spear! Please, Phase Spear. The risks. The risks this man takes. The low. This is so nasty. Blitz is going all in in this corner. I don't know what uh, what Brightor can do here. Okay, Brightor took that first round. Man, that was a nail biter. I was just stuck watching it. <laughs> Alright, what's the whole string? Brightor going in. Again, another phase out. So I think uh, Smoke's probably going to have the better out uh, of the corner option. And Brightor has to be wise to that, because he keeps, keeps uh, falling for the phase. Okay, another drop from Blitz. I don't know how often he's been playing this game lately. I know he's been traveling a lot lately, so... Uh, we're definitely happy to have him here, but we're going to see some drops from him. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't block the low! You should know! Same character, come on! Okay, missiles, Get some missile pressure. What's Blitz gonna do? He could teleport, he could phase, he could just walk in. Okay, X teleport, that's a punish. Brightor has life here. This, this isn't bad for Brightor. Okay, run in, jump back. I like the jump back reaction on the run in. Don't be like me. Oh no, this could be death for Brightor. Yeah, that's okay. It's game, or er, excuse me, game two, round three. Okay! Risky for the start of a round. They were a little close for that. Okay. I mean, he didn't really get much for it. Good block. Good poke out. Right toward the footsies. 
<clears throat> okay, no real hit confirm on that from uh, Blitz. He just kind of went for the full string. Good teleport. Okay, a rock in his face! Blitz was like, let me cross over, but Brightor said no. I know what you're going to do. And again, Brightor has to fight his way back, but he can do it. I love that he plays Sector. This is such a good match to watch. Charmberg is so cool to watch. There we go, now Brightor has the lead. But, one teleport can end it. Okay, good block from Brightor. Yeah, he was waiting for it. 1-1. One, one. What a set. So let me talk about the tournament so far. ATP is, of course, rocking Alien. Uh, he's in winners, quarters, or semis. Winners, semis, I don't know. Um, I guess not much has happened in the tournament. Um, Rage is still in it. Rage has gotten pretty far in losers bracket, so kudos to him. First time in our tournaments. So he has played casuals with us. Um, Rain got knocked out 0 2 really quick. He was pretty upset about that. Um, that is what it is. We try and help him out, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think uh, JD is out. Dust is playing. Pins are right now. And Vibu is waiting on his next match. So, anyway, back to this. We're still in round one of game three. Missiles. Okay, phases through. This time, Brightor recognizes it. Uh, pokes out. Oh, there you go. Good trade. Good block. Okay, using all his bar. No anti-air. But he gets a poke, gets a blitz respecting his next option, and... Right toward takes the round. Round two, fight! Okay. Oh, wow. Why would you full screen spear? Who does that? It's not like the ice ball. I don't know. That was a risky straight missile, but he made it work. Anyway, Brightor is looking real sharp right now. About to go into game four with Brightor up. Let's see what happens. All right, good. Blitz just runs in. We need more 50-50s from Blitz. Um, once he can get his 50-50s going, he's, you know, he's on point. But right now, he's just struggling to get in and stay in. He's struggling to get that vortex started. <clears throat> Brightor is playing very well here. Again! I don't know if that was Chip or what, but... Blitz should know that string. So right now, Brightor is up 2-1. Where, um... We saw this when Blitz switched to Kung Lao against ATP, I believe ATP, yeah, didn't really work out. He wasn't rusty with ATP, or excuse me, wasn't rusty with Kung Lao, but we'll see what happens. Round one, fight. I do think this is a better pick. Um, I just think Brightor was playing really well, definitely outplaying Smoke. Maybe um, <clears throat> Blitz just doesn't know really what to do in that matchup. So this is definitely a better pick for him. Okay. Brightor got some good blocks here. Ooh! He gets the low somehow. I don't know what Blitz was going for. Oh my god, that knee! Ooh, Blitz says, I'm done, man, you're not gonna bully me. And he takes that round, very good! Very good choice! Okay, <laughs> I love the blocking from these players. This is great. They're leveling up so much. Oh, wow. Weird switch there. And again, now Brightor has to make the adjustment. Blitz made the adjustment. Brightor made the first adjustment after game one. Blitz made the adjustment with the switch. Now Brightor's gonna have to realize he's fighting Kung Lao, a character that has one of the best reversals in the game. Blitz is on fire right now. Full screen. Brightor chooses to go in. He could have stayed full screen, but chose to go in. We're going into game five. Very good. Excuse me while I update the bracket.
All right, so we have winner's final set update for the bracket. We have winner's final set between ATP and Henzar. We'll stream that in a bit. For now, back to this. Game 5, Blitz the Wolf playing Kung Lao versus Brytor playing Sector, and Blitz takes the round. round two. Fight. I don't know what Sector can do here. I think, you know, Brytor needs to bait, maybe bait a teleport or bait a dive kick, try and create some space, zone him a little bit with the missiles. But right now, he needs to get out of the corner. That's his primary concern. Good wake up, and did that combo? Yeah, Blitz just wasn't blocking there. So again, Brightor chooses to go in. I think he was trying to run in and create some pressure, but his stamina wasn't quite there from the break. Gotta make that adjustment. This patch has been out for, what, a month now? Oh, Blitz takes it. Hey, we're in it. So, just like last week, Henzar is choosing to go with Cryomancer uh, for this matchup. Um, I really don't know what he sees in it, but he knows Sub-Zero better than I. <clears throat> so right now, ATP's just... Wow. That's tough. What can you do? You gotta be patient. Even when you get hit with the acid and you get restored, especially in the corner, it pays the block. Block is, uh... Block is the next option. And recognize if it's punishable and go in. Even if you can get a poke, get some kind of frame advantage. But right now, ATP is looking really sharp and acidic. Oh, it's a punish! That's it! Quick game one! We're about to see a rage pop off. I can feel it. That was so fast. Okay, good hit! I love it. Oh, you cannot backdash Alien. He's gonna go for the meaty. You've gotta hold it. Alright, good punish. Kinsar has proven that he's one of our only players in Austin that can consistently punish ATP. Oh, wow. He converted off that? The gravity was so weird. Whoa, good ice ball. Love it. Zara can bring this back. Alright, ATP wakes up. Good option. Zara decides to backdash again and it works out for him this time. Let's see what happens. They both run in and ATP gets the first hit. Round two. Fight. Alright. Hinzar unblocks. Decides to go full screen. Good hit with the slide. At least you get a knockdown, you can go for some kind of Oki. But he chooses to stay back. Oh, okay. Take the trade. Don't block against Alien. If you can trade, trade. Oh, ATP gets caught backdashing. What kind of damage are we going to get? 35? Right. Oh, mid screen overhead. 50% of the screen, man. Come on. Good grab. Hinzar's going in with these mix ups. Okay, I liked it. Was that a stagger from Sub Zero? What? Yeah. Oh, he was just short, and it's gonna restand. Why does it restand? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Round one. Like I understand, you know, keeping you standing if you're already on the ground, but when you're in the air, come on. Okay. It HP's fine with this kind of play. Hinzar right now is just trying to figure it out. This is going to be a quick winner's finals. This might, this might be faster than the winner's finals from last week. We had Hinzar versus uh, Poser Paul from San Antonio. Shout out to him. He could not be here this week, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, ATP's going to block the overhead hammer. He's blocked it every time. Last week and this week, I believe. What? Good damage. Oh, good block. No real punish. Oh, he runs into another ice ball. Please. ATP such a fraud. Who runs into ice balls? Oh, and the grab, I love it. Inzar's getting in there. It seems like he's definitely become a lot more aggressive 
with his corner pressure since last week. Don't give Alien a chance. Don't give him a chance to move. Good slide. Good anti -air. Okay, low overhead hammer. Ooh! ATP misses the anti -air. I don't know what he was thinking there. He doesn't uppercut with his tail. Come on. Oh, gets hit by the low. Oh, what? These strings, please. Okay, good. I did not want to see an ice ball come out. Last week, ATP, or not ATP, Hintar accidentally did an ice ball after a block string, and he he lost that game. <coughs> Final round, fight. So hold on, I think I'm going to... I might go mute real quick. I think someone's leaving. It's alright. Oh, the uppercut! So he noticed that Hinzar is trying to punch with that string, and he knows that it's a high, so just low profile with the uppercut and get the hit. Okay, life's about even. Okay, this time ATP blocks the overhead, but Hinzar doesn't block ATP's overhead. And now his neck is getting eaten, and his head is getting stabbed. Oh, empty jump in. Wow. That down four hit his back dash? Or was that forward four? ATP's real close. Wow. So that's good. Yeah. Your next match. Huh? Yeah, it's solid. You get them points. Now we're going in. I have no idea how this matchup goes. These are two very good characters, though. Kung Jin does have the pokes to contest the Ronin plus frames and the dive kick. Early breaker. Right, a little bit of zoning. Challenge should be better zoner, but Ronin can get in on anybody if he wants. Oh, and now he's in. Oh, plus frames in the little walk back. I like it. Full combo. Knock down. Oh, pokes out. All right, he's zero on that. Yeah. Oh, nice anti air. I didn't teach him that. He learned that himself. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that shock from the wrong way? I guess. All right, back to zoning. Ryu life deficit right now. Instant jump one, he pokes out. ryujin has got the balls of a matador. This is gonna be some chip. Does not cancel, but DP's out, and he takes the first round. Round two. Let's see what we got on follow up. No meter on either side. Oh no, jump three. Okay, right now. Oh, we got whiff punish. Very nice. Nineteen percent. Nice catches the down three. Gonna get nice corner carry. All right, we're in the corner. Reflex, get that out of my face, and he risks it on the dive kick. That's what happens when you got a new character and you just like doing all your options, and you realize that some you just should not tie. Keep doing overhead dash punch for no reason. Oh, nice punish on the projectile. I don't know what that's called. Okay, going with the Shaolin pressure can be pretty good. Blocks the armor. No full punish though. Gonna put him in the corner, even all rounds. Not your best day, Takeda. Ryujin in the corner, but he's got a bar. Let's see how he works his way out of this. Nice punish. The double dive kick, I guess that's a setup. I haven't seen that quite before. Oh, stays on the same side. Ryujin does not throw him in the corner. We'll take what we can get. Oh my gosh. Kung Jin's range is just... No. Chao Lin. Oh, but he gets a whiff dive kick. And he's out of there, though. Punish? Yes. 2-2-1. Two, two, Very good. Throws him in the corner. All right. Ryujin can make something happen here. Okay. He's doing some pokes. Bibu fights his way out. Neutralizes the projectile and wakes up. Bibu takes the first game. Going right back in. I agree. There was really nothing there that suggested Ryujin played poorly. Just made some bad reads near the end. Okay. Zero on block. Ryujin respects. Actually does have some experience playing versus Izzy mode. Sucks that he couldn't come out today from San Antonio. Um, but, uh, you know, he played a lot of games. With this Ronin pressure right now. Ronin pressure. Does not anti-air, but it's hard to against uh, jump one. That's punishable, yeah. Viva's out of the corner now. All oh, takes the risk. And no punish again, you know? If, if Bibu isn't going to punish that, it's okay to do those risks. Alright, Ryujin's slight life lead. Overhead or low? Oh, does not block. 
Wakes up again. He will get the punish this time. This is dangerous. That jump over. Oh, but no combo. Wow, that string is broke. Somebody call Paulo and NRS and 16-bit and everybody. Someone needs to regulate. Holy Badroni. Nice confirm. Oh, crap. Yeah, Shaolin definitely wins the zoning battle. But putting down that lightsaber can definitely make uh, zoners think about zoning. And that lets them in. And that giant whip. No one else has anything quite like that in the game. Oh, no. Misplaces it. Has to break. Nice trip guard. All right. We'll take our damage. 28. Oh, we're going to keep going. 40 for one bar. Very nice from Ryujin. Bibu blocks. Does not. Could. Oh, all right. Not a full punish, but we'll take it. Oh, whiffs. All right. He blocks. Jumps over. Oh, he didn't call back the lightsaber. He has no armor right now. Mm, I think that was an attempt. I don't know what the input is, though. I still don't think he's called back the lightsaber yet. I think he did there. I don't know. He did. All right. DP's out. Two bars on Bibu's side. Blocks. And oh my days. That is one of the reasons why Shaolin is so good. That Well, actually, all of Kung Jin, really. EX Flip Kick is safe on block, has a bajillion hits done, and you can just cancel to another EX Flip Kick. Crap. Ty isn't happy. He's like, I don't want to play this guy. Ryujin goes to character select to think about it a little bit. We were trying to work his way through the loser's bracket. Nick, in the stream chat, I think, I don't know, he definitely messaged me, and I'm going to tell him, shut the fuck up, where's my Snickers? That's all I care about. Anyway. Going in. First hit to... Uh, actually, Bibu got it. I didn't see. Neutral jump punch. It's pretty good. Good blocks from uh, Bibu. That's definitely... If you can block Ronin Takeda... Oh, no. Alright, we're going to get corner carry out of this, too. He's going to break. He doesn't want to be there. Yeah, if you can block uh, Ronin Takeda, then it all comes down to uh, his pressure. Which is very good, but Kung Jin's um, big normals himself can challenge. Okay, here we go. Corner time. He's got barter. Wake up. At zero on block. Yeah, he tries to push buttons. Cannot do it. We're just trying to work his way in. He's got two bars on Bibu's side, though. Yeah, you can't jump against that lightsaber. I like the spacing right now, but Bibu isn't biting. I think we need to get a little more aggressive. Oh, no anti-air. Tries to get the back one string. No dice. Vibu with punishes. Ryujin breaks. Oh, wow. It just does the fly kick. Oh, punish. Now we're going to get a little bit of damage. Down three. Yeah, see those, those jumpings? Can be dangerous. Does not block EX flip. Oh, he tries the armor, but does not get the punish. Gotta get the lightsaber back. Pressure. Pressure, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Those giant normals, those are the pressures. Armor out, about even on life. Down two, expecting a throw. Plus frames. Cannot jump, cannot armor, cannot do anything. Down two! Very good. Ryujin on the board. Bibu gonna stick with this new character. Okay, we're gonna get the plus frame from the lightsaber callback, but does nothing. Expected the armor, I guess. Ryujin right now with a uh, early life lead. Nice. Even though that's super risky, Kung Jin jump one. You ain't messing with that, bruh. Best jumping in the game now. Best jumping in the game since Lao got nerfed. Oh, that footsies. I love me some footsies, dog. That's that poking training. Whiffs! Gets the punish. Should be death. No, we're gonna leave him a little alive. Maybe we're trying to fight back. Virgin doesn't want to spend any bar. And he won't have to. Fighting back. And we made the adjustment. You tell me. Round two. Fight. Oh. 
copping out right now. Beats Kung Jin air to air again. I hear Alex complaining about Street Fighter in the background. <laughs> oh wait, he's playing okay. Poking out. Oh, nice footsies there. That's what I'm talking about. Those normals. I'm gonna get some pressure going. Pokes out. Here it is. Plus frames. Tries to let him hang him again, but BB stays patient. Neutral? Everyone's patient on block. Oh, tries the whiff punish with dive kick. Has to break. People on his last limbs. Plus frames. Does not have stamina to run in yet. I want Ryujin to do something that we've never seen before. Like that, exactly. That's how you can seal out the games. You've been playing your opponent now for a while. He's used to what you're doing. You gotta mix it up. Alright. So just jumps back. Gets the lightsaber back. BB has to patiently approach. I uh, can't afford those trades. Oh, jumps over, but no punish. Was too late. Gonna get these plus frames. Alright, armor's out. Overhead. That's definitely something he hasn't used yet. Drops the combo. Patience plus frames. And Ryujin patiently waiting. Oh, I pressed something on this phone. 2-2. Two, two. Ryujin. Oh, God, what did I do? All right, I got it. So Vince went the character select to think about it a little bit. This is loses bracket. Winner goes home. And if y'all know Austin Traffic, that can be a hell of a fucking drive. <laughs> Winner goes home eventually. What are we going to do? We're going to stick with the boy Kung Jin. We got at least the three. We got the three, the, the three musketeers looking on intently. They're like, hmm, how do I beat these cocksuckers? That's what I'd be thinking. Let's go over the ground rules. Round one. Five. Let's see how this matches around this round starts. Oh, catches him low. That's important. That first hit. Takes away a lot of options. Alright. Eugene uses his bar, drops the combo. This could be bad. No bar now. Oh, he's trying to build some, I guess, with that DP. Super risky though. Alright, Bibu. Oh, tries to parry point blank. Did not react at all. Corner pressure time. 37%. Very good damage. Kung Jin. One of the best pokes in MKX. Oh, catches him. Breaks. Just wants to keep his life lead. Right now, Ryujin with the life lead. Punishes. Alright, a little bit of zoning. That was scary. If he ran to that neutral jump punch. Okay. Playing patient. Yeah. Nothing you can do there. Just chip out. BB on match point. Round two. Fight. Working his way in patiently. That overhead is way too slow. Just throw out. Your opponent's got to start respecting, or you got to do it after plus frames. Alright, what do we got? Nice spacing. Drops it again. Just drops a killing reusion. Breaks. Okay. Okay. Just nothing going on right now. Nice punish on the projectile. I don't like that combo ender. Put some full screen and then it's a technical knockdown. Punish? No. What are we gonna do? Pokes out. I need to see Ryujin do it again. He needs to do something that Bibu has not seen before. Oh, pokes out again. I wonder if he's using the option select. Oh, did not confirm. He has full bar. Does not confirm again. I wonder if that's a mistake. Vibu. All right, he's going to break. He believes he can win this round. The throw. Ryujin. Even life lead. What are we going to do? That was scary. Oh, the overhead. And Vibu takes it 3-2, advancing in the bracket. You're up. Major Briggs. Round one. Five.
This is game one of Loser Simmies. Rage versus Vibu. Congratulations to Rage for making it this far. Let's see if he can go a little farther going up against one of our veterans, Vibu, who is playing a new character today, Shaolin Kung Jin. Um, he said, Vibu said that he was going to play a new character because Cassie got nerfed, Jax got nerfed. Um, I guess he wasn't really feeling Cyber Sub, and Cyber Sub got nerfed anyway, so. He's been leading us on for about a week, but his. or a couple weeks, since he hasn't been here. Vibu has returned after a two or three week absence. But he is playing Shaolin Kung Jin. It's a strong one. It's a weird Shaolin Kung Jin because it's very patient, because that's how Vibu plays. But Vibu is getting hit a lot by those unblockables. Um, I don't know if he knows about that. He should. He's he played Jax, like I said. He used to be a secondary. I don't know if Vibu would even ever switch to another character. There's a lot of characters he could play, but. We're not switching. Wow, so Rage takes that first game pretty quick, but Vibu's not gonna switch. He's gonna stick it out. And that's how you're gonna get better. You know, if you wanna be serious about maining a character, the best place to test them is in tournament at your at your locals, at your weeklies. Okay, I don't know why you're doing up rocket from full screen. Maybe he was thinking Bibu would jump in, dive kick. Bibu's not quite that random. He'll do it just enough so you uh, have to respect him. So shout out to Izzy Mode from San Antonio who mains Shaolin. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't make it today, but we have Shaolin represented anyway. Oh! Just barely uh, hit him. And Vibu takes the first round to, takes his first round of the set. There's a 50-50 option. You can go low with the shotgun or just complete the stream with the overhead. Okay. Rage, his Jax is looking pretty solid. It's like he can play Jax as well as he can play Cyber Sub. Okay, this time Vibu jumps the unblockable. Oh. Waste of a bar from Rage. And now Vibu. Okay, that's safe, but Vibu is blocking. Trying to feel out his opponent, still the beginning of the set. Ooh, no punish? I don't know the frame data on that. Oh, he gets hit by the overhead and the unblockable! Not the missile, though. Okay, not gonna be a good trade. That rocket is uh, so good. Again, Rage wastes the bar, but hey, you know what? He just runs in, goes mid mid. I don't know if that second hits a mid, but runs in mid. That's what beat me. That's what killed me last set. Run up overhead. That's okay, though. That was a good game. Good set. I never played Vibu's uh, Shaolin, so that was pretty cool. Alright, Vibu's working on some good damage here. Okay. Chooses to knock him full screen. Um, most Shaolins end with the Sky Drop. To stay right on top of him. Shaolin does have really good Oki. Okay, good anti from Vibu. Rage is... He's got a lot of work to do in this round. He wants to win game two. Oh! I don't know what he was trying to do, but... Looks like it was run up 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah. But, he doesn't get hit completely, and that, that would be it, though. 1-1. One, one. Very good. Both players very competitive. Round one. Fight. That is such a weird trade. It's happened several times today in our sets. Why would you do a uh, machine gun? Probably an accident. Okay. Again, Vibu understands what uh, Rage is doing for Izoki. He's just jumping the unblockables. Trade there on the pokes. Rage, I don't know if that was an accident or not, but he just jumped himself into the corner. And that's just definitely not what you want to do when you're playing Kung Jin. Or Shaolin, at least. Oh, another weird side switch! some weird stuff going on here in NetherRealm Studios. Why? Why do you make this game so weird? Oh, again, another wasted X dash punch, but Rage can still make the comeback. Ah, uh, not like that, though. Don't jump against Shaolin. Shaolin controls the air very well. Vibu tried to do something there. didn't quite work out. Yeah, that moves a high. The unblockable will not hit him. He is not on the ground. Okay, there's a mix-up there, too. Rage did block that correctly. Okay! Vibu was like, you blocked that? Let me try the low. Rage is onto him. Oh, 
Good. Good stuff from Bibu. You gotta do it sometimes. Okay. Bibu's sitting on a good life lead right now. Blocks the machine gun. You can probably low profile it with the disc. Oh, good anti air. Bibu's anti airs are so good. Uh, okay. Interesting choice of the rocket. Point blank rocket. I don't know if that's punishable. No one ever does it point blank. Okay, yeah, there's no reason to cross over there. You just gotta play neutral. Gotta stay on the ground. Vibu's up 2 1. And it looks like Rage is thinking about what he's gonna do here. Uh, looks like he's gonna stick it out with Jax. But not heavy weapons. Interesting. Interesting switch. Let's see what he can do with. It looked like it was Wrestler. Find out. Yeah, Wrestler Jax. No punish on the crossover. Oh, oh, that's such a punish, but Vibu misses it. And right now, Rage. He's gotta do something with these anti airs. He's letting Vibu jump all over him. Oh, good block, though. And Vibu's looking real sharp right now. Is Shaolin's actually here to do work? I thought it would be free. Alright, good check with the down one. Okay. Oh, okay. Looks like Vibu wasn't blocking there. OTG didn't work. A little late. And Bibu is on set point right now to go into losers finals facing Hinzar. Okay, he low profiles uh, Jax's projectile. A little hard to do, it's kind of fast. There you go. Look at this! Bibu's onto it quick! And there are no wrestler Jaxes in our community. We. This is like the first time I've ever seen Wrestler in Austin, ever. And he's just zoning him out with the low disc. He's not even bothering to enhance it. He's sitting on three bars. <laughs> he's just comfortable with taking this. And he should be. He has a good life lead. Good block from Bibu. This time he blocks, doesn't press a button. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Does that move not have armor? Okay, Rage can do something here. Bibu blocks it correctly, but gets hit anyway. A drop from Rage! And what's gonna happen? Good anti-air. First anti-air we've seen from Rage. And win him that round. That overhead. I think it's a 21 frame startup or something like that. But if you're not ready for it, yeah, you're just not ready. No reason to do that. I haven't seen any grabs, any command grabs from Rage. Uh, looks like maybe he picked Wrestler because he might think the projectile is better. Maybe he can zone out. But anyway, no full punish right there on the whiffed dive kick. Okay. Uber didn't see the cross up coming, and Rage again drops his combo. Oh. Okay. It's plus, so Rage runs in. Tries to go for that, but the, again, the OTG doesn't work. And good games to both players. Let's get Vibo and Hinzar on stream. So again, this is game one of Losers Finals, Hinzar versus Vibu. Vibu's return from a long absence. Once again, Hinzar finds himself in Losers Finals, just like last week. All ATP sits comfortably um, secured in Grand Finals. And I'll guarantee you, Relentless Jason versus Shaolin Kung Jin is a, is a set, a matchup that you will not see anywhere. This is the first time this has happened in the history of Mortal Kombat X. And it looks like Hinzar took the first round. <laughs> this 
So, I don't know how much experience Vibu has with Jason. I don't know how much experience Hinzar has with Shaolin, but... Looks like Vibu still trying to figure out his buttons. I think he figured out the neutral jump. Oh god. It's an easy thing to figure out, just do a neutral jump attack. And it's a good option for Shaolin, because he has... If you can find one of the punch buttons... Well, he's got good range on that. But right now, Hinsar's doing a lot of work with Jason, and mind you, Hinsar does not main Jason. Until today, he has always played Jason in casuals. Until today. And I honestly don't know why he's choosing Jason. Maybe he's just effing around, but... It's working right now, and that will be game one for Hinsar. A little convincingly. That was kind of one-sided. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. You gotta watch out for that. Good anti-air or air to air. Vibu wins that. Okay, tries to go for the overhead. It wouldn't hit anyway. It was a little out of range for that. But Hinzar does uh, get the whiff punish with the teleport and the combo. Get a set up here. Okay, neutral jump. Plus frames. Can't press the button, Vibu. You should know that. Whoa, right in his face! He tries to armor! He has infinite armor with that move! He probably doesn't know it until now, though, because I yell it so loud. Okay, Jason fell asleep. Sad face. It's okay, though. Oh, it doesn't matter! He's already running up! And Vibu, is he gonna take this round? He does! This is so competitive. This is such a weird matchup. I love this. Okay. Vibu just like, hey, let me keep running. I don't want to be near you. Good block. Hinzar misses the opportunity to deny the trip guard. Woo! Weird. Oh, Hinzar gets hit. So I think Vibu's made a good adjustment here. I think he's <clears throat> slowing things down a little bit. Ugh. <clears throat> Full screen overhead. I hate it. Excuse me, I just ate. No. And I'm still congested, yes. Okay, good grab, guarantee something. Now there's a big meter deficit. Hinzar has to use it wisely, and he has to really start using it now. Otherwise, he's he might lose this game. Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, there's a punish! Will he use a bar? Oh, he uses X-Ray! Is he... I don't know, he pauses the game, but he's gonna let it rock. That, that would normally be a DQ, but I'm sure they'll play it out. Yeah, see, he's not dead. I didn't think he would be. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I think that was an accident. On VB's part, I don't think he realized where the rounds were. Because he had won the first round. But anyway, he gets hit again, decides to break. Oh, the clothesline! WrestleMania! Shades of WrestleMania! Which is happening right now, as we speak. Shout out to everybody that came. I know WrestleMania is hype. Oh my god. What an anti-air. Okay, red screen. Oh, he found the disc! Unless he had it going before the red screen actually was active. Red screen does have a bit of startup on it, so you gotta pick and choose your moments. Jason, Jason, Jason. With these anti-airs, I love it. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Vibu's like, screw it. So Hinzar's up 2-0 in winner's finals with Relentless Jason. I think the days of sleeping on Jason are done. You know, based on what we've seen from players like, um... Like White Boy, CR White Boy. And, well, that's it. <laughs> and Hinzar, why not? Sonic, yeah, Sonic Fox did uh, troll with Relentless, or, um, Unstoppable Jason at the last major, final round, I believe. I'm sure he could have, yeah, against Salt Face, he could have played any character he wanted, but he decided to play Unstoppable. Anyway, life bars are about even. Wake up, jump for Hinzar, and that's a command grab? I don't know. Oh my god! I thought these guys were friends! What is this? An x-ray to secure the first round? 
Henzar is hungry for this money. He's hungry for the placing. He's hungry for yet another run back at ATP. And for the money. This is set point for Henzar now. He's got to figure this out quick. He's got to watch Henzar's meter and make him use meter. Somehow. Figure it out. But it seems like, uh, at least the way Henzar is playing Relentless, that Relentless doesn't really need a lot of meter. Run up overhead. As we're coming to find a staple from V. Whoa! Okay. Hinzar decides to teleport, smart move, but on the whiff, Vibu decides to grab, and Hinzar wasn't ready to tech. So these players are going back and forth, but again, Hinzar is still on set point, despite Vibu taking the round. Final round, fight! Okay, both players playing patient right now. Hanzar's <laughs> just walking up, trying to outspace Vibu. Okay, neutral jump kick misses. Vibu looks like he didn't really figure out his buttons yet. So neutral jump punch might have hit him. Okay, Hanzar backs up. Oh, don't jump against Shaolin. Vibu's gonna teach you that. If not Izzy mode, Vibu. Oh. Okay. Teleport. Okay, they trade. I like it. I always prefer trades in this game. We're blocking. This was such a good power counter pick for Shaolin. But right now, it looks like Vibu, he took a game. He's on the board. Got a lot of work to do, but he can do it. Definitely possible. But this is such an, again, an interesting pick. Relentless Jason to fight Vibu's Shaolin. You know, I think um, Shaolin controls a lot of the screen with his normals, with his dive kicks and his discs. But Relentless, maybe he can get around some of that. He has good walk speed, also with his teleport. Good run speed, too, as we just saw. Okay, empty neutral jump. Enzar says, I don't know what you're trying to do. Whatever it is, it's fraudulent. I'm just going to command grab you. Okay, run up mid. Actually, that might have been a high. I think the first hit's a high. <clears throat> oh, that low goes so far. It goes so far that he can even uh, hit Tempest Kung Lao out of his spin. If you're outside of the uh, vortex. The portal. Okay, full screen clothesline. I think that's safe. Oh, the normals are so long for Relentless. These players are at each other's throats. Fitting for Jason, not so much for a Shaolin monk. Round two, fight. Okay, block interactable. Hinzar once again is on set point. Okay, he blocks the overhead this time, very good. That's safe. Hinzar just has to go for a grab. Oh, full screen close line! I love it! Let's get us some John Cena! I, I'm so fraudulent. I don't even watch wrestling. Is he even a thing anymore? Oh, he gets hit out of the armor! This could be big, and he has three bars! He could do anything with these bars! Vibu, looks like he's getting a little impatient. Pressing a lot of buttons! Inzar's like, let me just use all these bars. I'm not gonna x-ray. Oh, the brutal! He says, get out of town! Go back to South Austin! So, v congratulations to Vibu, who came out, showed us that we're all just free, beating us with, like, his one-day main, Shaolin. He did get fourth place, or third place, four bucks. <clears throat> but we're going in. So, Hinzar, he's had a lot of time to think about this. What can he do with Cryomancer? Okay, a Shatter. You know, we haven't really been seeing a lot of Shatters from him. So, that's good. I respect that. It's a good move for Sub. So I find the trick to fighting Acidic Alien is to... Again, play more patient. Realize that if, you get, if you're getting re-stood re in the corner, and you're in the Vortex, sometimes you just gotta block. Block is the next option. And then see what you can do. See what you can punish. And then mid-screen... Don't worry about the acid. Don't worry about being poisoned. You know? Just find your way in, do what you do, play your own game. 
I think a really acidic is uh, just a bunch of mind games. Like, yeah, he has 50 50s, he's probably still broken. But honestly, I think acidic. It's a big mind game character. Okay, lifts the overhead, wastes the bar, doesn't block the uh, overhead ice hammer this time. Okay, good blocks from Hinzar. Good wake up. We didn't see a side switch, but that's okay. He's gonna get some damage here. 30. Decides to block. He had a lot of options for his Oki, but he decides to block. Catches ATP. Getting a little carried away. Okay, blocks both of them. Nice. Realizes that um, he can cancel off the down four. Final round fight. So right now, Hinzar's not looking too bad. Oh, the pot still hit him. Whoa. Okay, some side switches here. Oh, another side switch. It's looking bad for Hinzar. So are we going to see poison vortexes? Hinzar jumps out. Respect it. Good armor. I get that tongue out of my knee. Okay. Oh, they trade armor, and Hinzar wins out. Hinzar might just take this first game. I'm excited. Can anyone in Austin beat ATP's alien? Okay, Hinzar decides to cross over. Oh, he, he blocked that from max range. Hinzar's not letting him breathe. It's what you gotta do against Alien. And goes in for the meaty and takes game one. Hinzar is on losers. He has to keep this momentum up. Don't let ATP get to you. He's a scumbag. This is a good sequence from Hinzar right here. He's gonna get. He's not gonna keep him standing in. So. He blocks ATP's uh, wake up option, the down one. Now it's Hinzar's turn to block, and he blocks wrong. Looks like we're seeing some optimized damage here from ATP. About time. 23% throw! That's why his character's broken. Hinzar just has to use a bar just to get out. I, he's probably not going to win the round, but we'll see. He can fight his way back. Yeah. You know, low profile that throw all day. Doesn't matter if you start with a high string or a throw, he's going to low profile it with that upper cut. Okay, Hinzar runs in. Ooh, good slide. There's no reason not to block uh, low, but... Oh, yes! Good anti with the shatter. And again, he's going to knock him down for the damage. This time, he does not respect uh, ATP's wake up down one. Which he's probably option selecting, by the way. I think more of us in Austin need to do that. Oh, good slide in. Oh, but he gets hit by the ass. What's going to happen? That's a punish. Why would you do that? Come on, I'd like to see Hinzar clean up his play a little bit. Right now, he's got the advantage. Oh, he blocks low. I find that HP goes uh, for the low a lot to end uh, games. So, very nice. I don't know why HP wasn't blocking or if that was a punish or something. Wow. Clean punish. Hinzar gets the side switch. He's gonna have corner advantage. He's gonna have hit advantage. What's he gonna do? Goes for the hammer. Very good. And it's safe. Okay. Hinzar pressing too many buttons. ATP showing some signs of footsies. Oh, good blocks. Hinzar, you can tell that they've played a lot. Hinzar is blocking a lot of stuff here that a lot of us just haven't this week. Oh. Oh my gosh. This could be it. Hinzar had a really good life lead, but just like that, it's down. HP has the life lead. Oh, they're trading life. This is ridiculous. Run up, grab. Not gonna work. That's gonna be not death. He doesn't have bar. Is Hinzar? He just took game two. I don't know what adjustments he's made, but he's figured it out. I think his um, I think he's doing better on knockdown. He's um, doing different options when he knocks ATP down, and that's really what's giving him the win here. Not doing too too much, um, you know, punishable stuff here. Knockdown. Okay, neutral jump kick plus, but 
HP just has to armor through because he knows it's plus. He knows he's gonna do something. Restand. Okay. Ooh, good armor break! HP was just talking about how Sub Zero can't armor break Alien. So much for that. The timing has to be right. 1 1 does armor break for Sub. Kintar wasn't blocking there. Clean jump out. Gets hit by the overhead. No reason to block low from that. That far back. It's okay. That's, now it's ATP's turn. Oh, we see a straight reset from Hinzar. He's got to win two more rounds. Right now. No, oh, gets hit by the acid. This is looking like it's pretty over. Yeah, there it is. 2-1. Hinzar's up. Nice anti air. Don't see that a lot from Hinzar. That was really cool. Really clean. Okay, Hinzar's working ATP towards the corner. HP uses the rare low. Low special. It's plus eight. HP backs up. Oh my god, they're full screen, but Hinzar is in the acid. Wow, he gets crawled on while he's standing in the acid. Jeez, this character. It's okay. It's right now, Hinzar looking like he's about to take this round. He does have the meter advantage also. Okay, HP just built a bar. Oh, he's gonna try and jump out. You know, if you, if you think you're gonna lose a round, if you're in the corner, at least try and jump out. You know, do something. Oh, okay. A whiffed grab. Good stuff. Hinzar's looking sharp. Oh no. Oh no. Sins are about to take a shower. No. HP's going for meaties. Going for knockdowns. Here we go. Bathing in that acid. Good. I guess that was a whiff punish. I don't know. Either way, HP got hit. HP was thinking Hinzar would go in. This is Hinzar's chance to get a good life lead. This is Grandmaster. He'd be able to do a lot more damage, but that's okay. This is making it work with Cryo. Okay, safe. Oh no! Baraka, please! Good anti air slide. Why did he get hit by the hammer? What was ATP trying to do there? Anyway, we got the bracket reset. And they're going straight in. So, this is the first time since March, since KP2 came out and all the balance patches that ATP's been in this situation. That he's had the bracket reset on him while playing Alien. Can Hinsar be our white knight? Or our blue knight? Okay. Oh, nice! Why block? Well, I could just neutral jump kick. Hinsar is going for damage! He's about to build a bar, will he use it again? No! Whoa, what a comeback! Alien's not happy about it. <laughs> okay. These are backdashes, but blocks this time. Okay. Oh, good backdash. Oh, look at this. Okay, he drops though, but that's okay. Sitting on a good life lead. I think this week has been a very good week for Austin versus ATP, which is basically what it's become since Alien dropped. A lot of people have really kind of caught on. They've really been challenging ATP a little bit more. And we're seeing it right now with Hinzar. Fortunately, he tries to backdash there. Not a good option to backdash. It was working for him earlier, but not when you're mid-screen. And Hinzar is going to have a good position here after this combo. And that's it! Wow. So right now, Hinzar, in this total set, has been 4-1. And ATP is going to character select. Will he switch? He switched to Tarkatan. So now, Hinzar has to make a lot of adjustments. This is a very different game. Acidic and Tarkatan are very different. He just, obviously, just caught on to Acidic. Let's see what Hinzar can do. Because we know ATP is going to be sharp. There we go. Wake up, Rekka. Going to keep him standing. Going to go for a mix-up. Okay. Armor's through. So again, that's new. Now, Alien is no longer safe and gapless with his Rekkas. 
Oh, whip grab, but no punish from ATP. Tries to use a uh, uppercut. That's not gonna work. <clears throat> Knockdown goes for a meaty, and that's gonna break that armor for sure. I'd like to see maybe a shatter or a slide, something a little faster. Okay, good overhead. Oh, he just slides right out. Oh, where's the overhead? That's okay though. Has plus frames with the uh, down three. HP's going in for meaties. And starts life's dwindling away. That's everything on the overhead, and well, that's the game, or that's the round. Good neutral duck. Gets him restanding. Goes low this time. Goes low again. Goes for a meaty. Or, excuse me, just normal mid. That might have been high, actually. Excuse me. HP's just trying to mix it up. Hens are nose. Match up a little bit, so now HP's really got to mix it up. He's making good adjustments. Fast adjustments, too. Excellent block on the slide, and Hinsar's gonna say, you know what? Take it. So we're tied 1-1, in the bracket reset. Okay. Safe, there you go. Nice. More shatter, thank you. Okay, Hinsar runs in. Down 4, restand. Okay, HP goes low again. Ooh! HP tries to mix it up, goes overhead, but it gets blocked. Good neutral. Good block that neutral punch, that was really good. Oh, he armors through the last hit. Yeah, I think um, Tarkatan got hit pretty hard. Compare the changes they recently had for Acidic and Tarkatan. Tarkatan got hit pretty hard. Okay, cuts the record short this time, trying to anticipate armor. Good option for ATP. Whoa, nothing happened on that trade. Inzar just slides out. Has to get something going, but again... You're not going to be able to backdash alien mid-screen. It's going to lose that round, yeah. HP's up right now. Up by a round. round two. I wonder if, um, Hinsar would consider switching from Cryomancer, now that he is fighting a different variation of alien. If he has any idea, you know, if he could do anything differently. He's definitely going to have to figure this out on the fly. Because right now, it's not looking good. HP's been dominating the past three rounds. And at this rate, four rounds. Tarkat is a different alien. Oh my god. Hinsar's playing with his heart right now. He's worried about this. He doesn't want HP to go up 2 0. HP gets hit by the overhead, though. Fearing the low from Sub Zero or just plain not thinking. See what happens. No armor from ATP. Oh, dropped a combo. Good crossover to beat the armor, and Hinsar takes that round. I believe that was another comeback. Hinzar is known for his X Factor. Again, Alien is super pissed. HP's chill though. He's usually got a calm head. Okay. Respect from both players. Alright, Hinzar's gonna grab you. He said, I'm done playing the Pope game. I'm just gonna grab you. Okay. Good hit. No real conversion. I think he probably could have gotten better, but you know what? This time in the tournament, just get what you can get. Okay, good spacing for Hinzar. He wants to make the next sequence his decision. He doesn't want HP to force it. Good down one, HP caught not blocking. Good block on the Rekkas, good armor. That's what you have to do in this game, just armor. Random armor will get you far. Hinzar's looking nice. Gotta block it. He blocks the low! Blocks the tail snag! 2-1! And grand finals. As usual, nobody's watching. Okay, HP got some good pressure here. Hinsar's just gonna grab him. HP's not been taking a lot of grabs lately, so Hinsar's doing a good job mixing up the directions that he's throwing in. HP is probably the best uh, grab tecker. If that's a thing in Austin. Again, Hinzar gets knocked out of the backdash and eats, well, 30 plus percent, 33 percent. Oh, another 50 percent of the screen overhead. He's gonna, he's gonna use a bar to extend it. Look at the, oh, he uses another bar. He's going for a kill. Look at that, 48 percent from Hinzar. Round 
This is set point for Henzar. Okay, down four. Oh, again. It's caught by the back dash. You're gonna learn. Yeah, Henzar got hit, got hit by the overhead. Jumps out of the corner again. HP's wise to it now. And gets a down one entire. HP's looking good right now. Doesn't get hit by the armor this time. Woo! That didn't connect. That's not a, uh, that doesn't link. Woo! That boot to the face! Lin Kuei boots! Need a nerf! Final round fight. Both players trying to feel each other out. HP gets the first hit for this last round. Game 4. Good armor. Okay. So Hensar's trying to mix it up, <clears throat> but ATP blocks the low. Okay! Hensar says, no, it's not your turn, man. I'm just gonna tap you with my foot. Not your turn. Whoa! Good punish! Good whiff punch with the slide! ATP doesn't switch sides. I don't know if there's a side switch combo for that. But life's about even. Hensar does have three bars. He won't x-ray. He doesn't usually x-ray with Sub-Zero. We saw it a lot when he was playing Jason. But he's gotta do something. He's gotta use these bars somehow, effectively. Don't be dumb. Don't be like me. Okay, good back dash. Ice ball. Okay. Run in. We could have anti-aired with a shatter. He's gonna block that. Oh, he got hit by an ice ball. Is he gonna... What, was that a drop? Okay. Oh, you know ATP's gonna do that. That's his staple. We're going down to the last game. Round one. Five. Man, Hinzar had that. That was really close. Enzar has just made really good adjustments to Alien and how ATP is playing. That should have been a punish! Come on! <clears throat> Alright, wakes up. ATP is not respecting his wake up as much anymore. Although I don't think he really ever did this set anyway. He's just trying to make reads. Oh, ice ball missed. Ooh, punish on the uppercut! Okay, good block from ATP. This time Hinzar gets hit by the low, and he gets hit by the overhead on the next exchange. There's the combo I was looking for last time. Uses another bar! I don't think this is gonna kill though. Oh jeez, it just killed him. Set point for Hinzar. First place, taking home I think 41 bucks if he wins. Let's see, more Rekkas. We haven't seen a lot of Rekkas lately. Oh, the rarely move scene. Shade of Baraka, this little Charcotten spin, MK9, and MK3 too actually, or MK2, I don't know, whatever. Baraka's in both games. Okay, doesn't block low. He's really going hand with this pressure, he tries to backdash, but Hizar catches him. This time he doesn't block low. HP got hit again, just pressing buttons. I think he was trying to wake up last time and just didn't come out. He gets it this time though, gets a grab. Hensar's got two bars. Okay, whiffing something mid-screen. Oh, he gets the cross-up. Will he use all his bars? He dropped it again. Hensar's gonna kill himself. Oh, this is not looking good. It's okay, though. He almost has two bars again. And ATP really doesn't have any. Hensar's trying to jump, but it didn't work. Again, no respect from ATP. He doesn't care, man. He's alien. You don't have to respect anybody. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Good punish from ATP. Knocks him down with the low. Ooh, trying to go for a setup, but not gonna work against the ice shadow. Okay, ducks the ice ball. ATP running in. Fading a slide from Hensar, and it worked. Smart stuff from ATP. This is set point for both players right now. Who's gonna take home Grand Champion this week? A cross up anti air. Oh. Does he kill him? No, he doesn't use the bar. He slid. And the wake up. Good stuff. Good stuff from both players. Gradually, State to P once again.